all right so welcome back guys so in this video you're going to be learning how to draw market structure correctly what and what you should know about and what you should avoid okay it's just all about market structure a very detailed way of drawing it oh, so first of all back to the basics the basic is that we have three types of market structure basically we have the uptrend and we have we have the range <clears throat> And we have the downtrend. Okay. So most traders do not do well in a rangy market. Okay. Most traders do not make money in this kind of market. So we have to eliminate it and just talk about the uptrend and downtrend market. Okay. So first is first. We'll talk about the uptrend market. So let's get right into it. So both in the uptrend and downtrend market, we have these structures splitted into three. The uptrend market is splitted into three, and the downtrend market is also splitted into three. But I'm gonna start with the uptrend market first. It's splitted into external, internal, and fractal. Okay. So now, mind you. The external is bigger, the internal is medium, and the fractals is the smallest one. Now, why is this so? That's because when I draw market structure like this, I'm drawing it in the most textbook way possible, which is the easiest way to understand. In reality, which is in the charts, in the real life markets, market structure is not as perfect as this, meaning inside every swing. There are another structure inside every swing. It's just how it works. Okay. And that structure that is doing higher, high, higher lows inside every swing is called the internal structure. That's what I said by saying the external is there, the internal is a medium, and the fractal is. Small. And funny enough, for each of these swings you see right here. For each of these swings you see right here, we have another small, smaller swing inside of it, okay? And that's going to be called the fractal structure. So inside of this one line here, we have another small set of lines. All right, so let's get back to the main um, way to understand this, okay, in a better way. So if, for instance, this is your external structure okay now this is a big swing of of a low and a high what we have to understand is that when we have been able to so yeah we normally have highs and lows just like this in an external structure so how you can be able to identify the internal structure current perfectly is when you have been able to draw your external structure low high low high assuming we are an uptrend okay for you to be able to identify what's really going on in the internal structure or how to map out the internal structure is to make sure in the current high and low you want to find out the price action that goes inside of it so there is surely supposed to be a retracement here before price goes above to continue the same movement we all know that right but now you have to pay attention to the movements you see because it's definitely gonna be moving like this like this like this it's obviously going towards the demand area okay towards this area these areas are the demand areas that are in discount level remember when you were you thought you, were, you thought fibonacci when i said that this is a discount area and buys can take place in this area there are more point of interest here that make the market to spike up higher so that price will have to retrace till we are below 50 percent of this so now what you're about to learn right now is that these retracements are called internal structures and personally i like to mark them with red lines okay i like to mark them with red lines I like to mark them with red lines okay so this is how it is all right now 
what you should have to find out about fractals the third one is that now just as we said between the most recent external low and external high we want to find the most recent internal high and internal low too which is what you see we do right here now the most recent one is where you find the fractal structure in between this most recent external internal high and low you want to find the what fractal structure that we're going to find it. now let's assume price wants to take off from here from here you would find movements like this going up okay so that movement is going to be what referred to as fractal structures i use green lines to denote mine okay so I, it can be easy to differentiate the three of them both i use black lines for my internal externals i use red for my internal and i use green for my fractals okay so this is exactly how it is so if i want to continue doing this watch me this will have to go higher and higher now when it breaks this line eventually we can accept that we have been able to break internal structures but now that doesn't mean we have to call here an internal structure high that's not correct that's still this all of these things are still going to be called fractal highs this high is fractal make it green these highs also fractal make it green and this high is also what fractal make it green now there is only one thing that can make us know that we have created a new internal structure high this is only when price breaks this low now there is a low right here and it's green okay it's fractal low if price breaks this low we can now this green line can now graduate to what we call internal high so i would now make it red initially it was green i'll make it red now the real life market is dynamic it's not static it's not move. it's not just there it moves so something that was green before can turn to red why because it led to a break of a fractal low so what happens is when it breaks a fractal low like this it would have to retrace to the discounts and maybe demand area of this structure now remember this is an internal structure we are dealing with and from here to here is just like one swing for the internal structure and from here to here it's also like one swing for us to go higher right but it's now splitted in fractal highs and lows so don't lose track of it that it also have to retrace back to the origin now if you draw your fib as you can see we are in the discount so it can retrace back from anything it likes to tap here which you would learn about further in this course okay which is fvg and the rest of them but well it's it's has to retrace back up and when it wants to do that it's gonna happen just like this the fractal will change character again to the upside and then we'll keep moving higher and higher we'll keep moving higher and higher and that's how it works every single time so here would have same thing same thing as it is okay sorry so here we have same thing fractal highs making up this so the idea of drawing this is to show you something okay and what that is if we make it just in the same way we make it up here we have been able to break what external structure okay that's the meaning of it watch me if we can make it to this point i've been able to break external structure now don't get me wrong all of these highs that we made it to that place are still fractal highs and we have not made any internal high ever since the last time we made an internal high all of them are in fractal because it has been going in a straight in a straight line like in a straight simple market structure so you see us go here like this so what happens when we cross this place now when we cross this place that doesn't automatically make here a new internal external high no now does it make it a new internal high no it's still fractal so for it it's still fractal which is going to be green okay so for it for it to become an external high is what needs to happen price needs to pull back first 
Now when price pulls back first to break this low that was once that was a fractal low, then this get this graduates to become an internal high. If price breaks this, this graduates to become internal high, which makes it red. Okay. Now it means we have had a new internal high. And where is the the low that led to this internal high? This is the low that led to this internal high. It's gonna be red. Just like this is the red low that led to this internal high. And this is also the red internal low that led to this internal high. Now until price breaks it before we can we here can graduate. Here can graduate from internal high to what? external high a black line and a dot you see that the movement makes it graduate now if we shrink it we still have the same pattern it goes like this like this like this like this like this like this so all of these structures are to be found in every single time frame the monthly has its external internal and fractal the weekly has its external, internal, and fractal. The daily has its external, internal, and fractal. The, the four hour has the same. All the time frames have it. So it's not about a time frame thing. Every time frame has all of this in check. So remember, this market will just retrace like this. It's going to use. It's going to use. Um, let me go back. I'm trying to undo everything. So it's going to use fractal structure movements to get there so it will be on a fractal downtrend for a while and it will keep going that same way that same way till this happens so when this finally happens we now we can now graduate here to become what black and not just black also have a dot because i'm using these dots for only external structures you don't see me use it for internals or for fractals so these fractal structures is what we have okay is what we have here okay we have it um we have it here sorry we have it here and we have it here too we have it here sorry let me let me I enlarge this is still going to be difficult so it will be like this make it green and the rest of them looking like that okay so this is how it works basically so somebody might ask me that is a bit advanced as watching this and say well so how do you take trades off it well, we take trades off it by paying attention to just these green structures, okay? That's what we want to follow on trades up and down, up and down. But you ask, if you are trading just this green market structure, this fractal market structure. So, if that's what we trade on day-to-day -day basis, so why do we have to draw the red and the black? So, we are doing that so that we can know a potential turning point. Yes. Because, watch this. When price gets to a point this point like this sorry when price gets to this point like this what happens is that remember the, the external trend is still bullish so it means there has to be something like this to happen for price to go higher again to continue this so if you're not following all of this you wouldn't know that price wants to retrace you would actually be caught selling around here again thinking you want to just keep going down okay the same way you keep buying, 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 looking for buys until we get here as price retreats, just keep looking for buys. Talk to me that we need some pullback. And when this pullback starts, you think it's, it has changed. When it has not changed, it has to continue like this. Did you understand? So, now, um, that's why we use only the fractals to look for trades every time. Yes, to get easy trades, but then we need other drawings to know their potential turning points. So, now, there is something that could also happen here, which I want to show you guys now. There are cases where price will not break the, the, the previous um, internal low. Yes, it will retrace to the discount origin of it just to continue in this manner back. Now, when things like this happen, this is not going to be any external high. This is going to remain 
as internal hype. Only when price breaks is this graduate. If, if price does not break it, this remains red. If price makes its way like this, like this, till you know we cross this line again, there is only one thing changing. The internal structure is changing, but this one remains the same way. But if that happens, we also know that if price breaks here, we also know that this low that cost price to break here is going to what is going to change. Look at it here, it's going to change to red. Also, that's something new you have to understand. If price breaks this high, here turn to red. Okay, if price breaks this high, here turns to what red. Simple. Okay. So um and also how how do we know okay yes that's just it so let's go to the downtrend structure pattern okay let's see how the downtrend structure pattern is gonna look like do the same thing but everything is just inverted okay everything is just inverted so let's see what we have here so the downtrend pattern pretty looks like this looks like this now it's supposed to continue moving like this right but like I said no matter where you're coming from from the from the external structure where you're marking it from you want to keep marking and not care about marking the internals and the fractals until you get to the last higher low marked for the external structure when you get to the final higher low mark which what i mean is coming from far for instance just imagine this thing continued like this continued like this you know when you're marking all of these things you don't need to mark the external and, in, and fra sorry you need to mark the internal and fractal structures inside here just let it be just let it slide because you don't need it it's past what is present and what you need is when you you've got to the end of marking your work external structure that is when you begin to find other structures in it okay this makes it extremely easier to get what you want and what is important at the moment okay so this is basically your what external structure okay but in that external structure assuming price wants to go down or whatever whatever thing you're gonna see that happens inside normally it's supposed to do like this right and do like this right but you have to pay attention to all the details that it's used to do all of that so it's gonna keep moving like this moving like this moving like this okay Remember, it's trying to move to this extreme area because that's where the turning point is. When you get to this extreme area, it wants to turn back. Now, it must not get there. It can stay here and turn back. It can stay anywhere and turn back. But you just have to know. Most times, that's what you try to go to to make sure it's at sorry to make sure it's at premium level on the feed. Remember, I thought you feed this is premium level. I want to make sure it's at what the premium level of the feed, which is here, which is where most times the market wants to turn around from okay so here yeah, now all of these things are called what internal structures it's gonna be red okay they're gonna be red they're gonna be red they're gonna be red okay they are called internal structures i make them red now when you're finished marking all of them don't care about the fractals here here here, here. You don't care about it. it's just like how you don't care about the internal and fractals here here too you don't because the smallest one we're talking about now we have marked the biggest one we have marked the smallest one now we have marked the remaining the fractals okay we don't care about the ones right here what we care about is the ones that i are going to see when you're just done marking your internals when the internal stop that's where you care about when the internal high and low stops as we care about okay so right here you'd see some movements like this now it, it could even be like this it could even be higher like this okay now if it's higher like this it means you know fractal structures are usually smaller when it's smaller than this you would know that this is not internal structure you would know this fractal based on some examples i'm going to show you in the real life chart i can't show you everything here but yes, you know that this is smaller and you don't mark it with red lines, you mark it with green lines. But in most cases, if it's trying to come down like this, you will know what to mark. Mark them as green. Now, 
if you maybe you want to do this to go higher or you want to keep dropping any way possible we we'll mark them as fractals in them green and we we'll keep up marking them as fractals pick them green make them green make them green so yeah so what you need to understand that if price manages to break this low that doesn't make this a new internal low it doesn't what makes this a new internal low is if price retraces back okay sorry if price retraces back here and breaks an internal structure a fractal structure like this a fractal high immediately that happens then this low is promoted to become an internal structure okay that's how it works yes that's how it works so if this continues to go up just to retrace inside close to the origin of where this started then it start coming back down that's how it works most times okay so you would see scenarios like this is gonna be green remember you see scenarios like this happen lots of times in the market okay scenarios like this happen lots of times in the market so here we go here we go so you see all of these are what uh fractals so these remain the old internal low okay this is the summary of it this 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 see as a summary of the internal structure so this could continue like this for instance okay this would continue like this for instance, see we break here. Now, remember all of these are our fractal structures. There was no time price did this. If price did this, here will be red. But price did not do this. We continue like that. So they are all going to be green, 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 green. Green, fractal, green, fractal. Okay. That's how I do my mind. So, once we cross here, we have broken. The old, uh, the old low. So once we put that old low here, becomes an external high because it was able to push price to break the previous low. So because it was able to push price to break the previous low, it's not just an, an external high, it's also a strong high. A strong high pushes price to break a previous low. That's how it works. So that has. Remember, if this is a new low, an, ex in, in, an internal low, then the high that led to this low is this, and that's going to be what internal also red line. Okay. Once this has been identified, this then this high, this high cost it's just like when we broke here. Okay, this high became when we we broke this uh, low. This would become in external high. Now it's the same thing like this. We have created this. Okay. When price broke this, I forgot to I forgot to say it. When price broke this low, that's when here become here became an internal high. When it broke here, okay. Not not really when this got formed. It was when we broke here. This became an internal high. Actually, okay. So now for us to be able to graduate this low to become external low all we have to do is for price to retrace back and break this high that cost okay this high that lets this low we break it then this graduates from red to black and we get our high lights so if I zoom it, we have gotten a perfect walkthrough of these and this as external structure. And for what internal structure we have gotten these sorry for internal structure we have gotten these 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 so simple no complications okay so now we'll go to the live chat and we'll see what this 
means and how to make use of it you can just learn it by doing this okay so we'll do euro usd since it's a very popular um since it's a very popular pair we'll do euro usd and uh, let's see now first things first first rule to get your market structure correctly you must start from a monthly chart okay if you don't start from a monthly chart you most likely get it wrong across all time frames so that's number one rule you must start from a monthly chart you must start from a monthly chart so now this is a monthly chart on euro usd okay now it's very simple when you're drawing your internal structure external structures you want to make sure you shrink it as much as possible so you can have the full view of everything when you have the full view of everything you can know the overall structure where price is going to we all know that price is going in an uptrend we move from here to here that's an upward movement we are we're here 1971 and 2024 we are here so it means we have progressed higher so this an uptrend actually so where's our lowest point here then we created this high then we pulled back created this low okay we pulled back to this level now when price is about going up from here we cannot call this any low we can't call this kind external low yet we only call it an external low if it's able to break through this if it breaks through this successfully then it graduates to become an external low now when we when we when we create this high okay all right so look carefully when we created this long uh movement this is fractal structures as you can see because they are really really small okay they're really really small these high lows high lows are all fractal so when we broke this external structure we also broke fractal structures so the rule is when we break fractal structures like this i'm explaining certain structures here when we break fractal structures like this what happens is that this is the low that led to the breaking of this fractal high. If we break that fractal low, if we if we can do that, if we break that fractal low here, then this qualifies to be an internal high, just like the example I gave for a static. Internal highs lead to a break of fractal structure, whether it's high or low, whatever. But this becomes what an external high. So therefore, it's an external high. And then price even broke more fractal structures okay that is not a big deal what's a big deal is that later price started reversing back up okay and we created this high it happens to still lead to the breaking of a, a fractal low too so that's how we knew it was what and internal high look at it here it led to the break of this so then went even higher to create more internal structure highs okay so what happened next is we now had price create this new internal high but now the internal high led to the break of an old internal low because if if price decides to break uh, if price decides to break the low that led to this internal high then it has broken an internal low so once that happens, this graduates from what internal to frac to um external. It's a dot. That's the idea. So when you shrink, when you shrink this, you get this. So if you shrink it even further, it makes more sense. It makes more sense that price move this way, move this way, move this way, move this way, move this way. So I'm not telling you you should go and start marking the external and internal. Sorry, marking the internal and fractal structures of of this whole uh, um, stuff. I'm not telling you you should do that of this whole market from here to there. No, the rule in the in the in the first example I gave is you should mark only external structures first until when you get to the last external high and low, they can start looking for the smaller structures. So I'm just doing that because I know a lot of you guys will have questions as to why this doesn't become the new external high and this and this and why is it just this okay that's why i'm doing this okay but normally i wouldn't care about what's happened in the past what i care about is price retraced here and then 
this low lets the break of this so therefore it becomes an external low and here it becomes an external high too okay so we have been able to mark the very last high, low and high in euro us monthly time frame okay we have been able to mark it so what does that teach us that teaches us that yes every other thing right here now has to be looked into there are no more external highs and lows because for price to create an external low we have to break this low for price to create an external high we have, we have to break this high so we are in between this and this which is what i was making an example of. so we have to switch um zoom it right when we zoom it we can now see the market structure what was happening inside and we can see this was the last internal low that led to this internal high okay we can see so what is happening is that we care about this low okay when it gets broken okay that's where we want to start working our internal structures for because this definitely was once internal high if you're following it from the origin around 2007 and the rest from the origin you find out that this was also bred but it's graduated to external black and dots because it led to the break of this internal low which happened here so that's how it's graduated so now it broke this price decided to create this high move lower create this move even lower okay move even lower than this so that's how we have the words and an internal low why is it called an internal low and why not this now the rule is if a low leads to price breaking a fractal high like this then it's called an internal structure this low led to the break of this internal, internal high so yeah definitely became an internal structure so you'd ask them what about this low this fractal low okay this fractal low i think i'll keep it like this this fractal low this fractal low led to this then this led to this okay so that happening means that this high is a fractal high too because it's a fractal low and this fractal high broke this that's okay but then for price to not continue in that bearish format like this if it continues like that everything will be fractal but price did not if a price broke this so therefore the low here became red okay and because it became red what's what high led to this to the breaking of this low now if the low got broken here this high which is the highest high out of all the retracements not this this one became the red high that broke that low okay so that's exactly how it is so yeah can we call this an internal high to an internal low rather can we yes we can okay take a look at it we can because we have had fractal structures broken as a result of it so this all of these are fractal structures you can see they got broken as a result of that as a result of this little bit let breaking of them and also have some fractal structures here see them they're very tiny okay if i zoom it perfectly you see that see them, see them. they're very very tiny but yes see them this low went led to the break of this high so it's supposed to be acknowledged okay they are all fractal structures you see them they're very tiny yeah so that's basically how the monthly time frame looks like on putting up your um your internals and fractals this is how it looks like so everything on this part of the chart see everything right here this part of the chart trust me you mustn't draw it it's just an illustration of how this high is is the inter external high and not these and not these and not this okay i still say that when you start paying attention to internals and fractals is when you just draw your last external high and external low just like when you see me paying attention to fractals is when i just drew my what last internal high and my last and look in between it is when I have to draw these fractals. So now we're going to go to the weekly time frame and do 
the same thing what we're going to do on the weekly time frame we're going to identify the external the internal and the fractal of the weekly time frame now the weekly time frame has nothing to do with the monthly time frame that's how it works okay what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all of this if you're using a pc you highlight it and settings visibility make sure it's only active on the monthly charts make sure it's only active on the monthly charts now if you're using mobile phone to do this make sure because you cannot you know highlight all of them on mobile phone so if you're doing this on mobile phone make sure that your first line or two you use as you just draw that line when you draw the line first on your mobile phone make sure after drawing the line you go to settings okay and make sure it's only chosen to show on the monthly time frame now when you do that every other line you draw will also be set like that if you use a dot make sure the f after the first dot you use make sure you go on settings and set it to only months okay and every other dot you use will set on only the monthly charts that's how it works so let's move on right so we'll go to the weekly charts now because you, you did not set anything you set all of them on the monthly chart the weekly chart is supposed to be plain like this there shouldn't be any drawing showing on your weekly chart so now let's go back to monthly there's something i want to show you your your monthly internal structures are going to become your weekly external structures to say again your monthly internal structure which is this red line you see you know this high and low you see of the red lines is going to be your weekly internal sorry your weekly external structure your monthly internals are your weekly externals and your monthly fractals becomes your weekly internals that's how it works so for you to be able to identify it, if you're a newbie here use brush to try to um oh my god this is not a brush so this highlights so use brush to try to highlight the lows and highs of your ex of your internal structures rather okay i don't make the misses every time now make sure this setting is at least is visible on your uh, visibility visible on your weekly chart at least okay make sure it's not visible on the rest to, to reduce the confusion let it just be visible on your weekly chart okay now when you do that when you when you make sure it's visible on your weekly chart when you go back to your weekly chart you would see it see you would see it so that's a sign for you to mark a dot a dot a dot a dot make sure your dots are only visible on your weekly time frame if you're marking any dots right now okay make sure it's only visible on your weekly time frame. it's not visible on your monthly or any other time frame these black dots now this dot stands for what your external structure in your weekly so you've got your external structures already simple so now you're going to remove all these brush highlights just so that you don't um, make your work rough so then we'll use the black lines to draw them properly now okay because these are now external structures right make sure your lines are also visible on weekly time frame if you're using phone only visible on weekly time frame if you're using phone okay so here it is so if i highlight everything right here i'll press settings since I'm using a PC, I'll make sure it's not raining months, only week. So yes, I've gotten my what? External structure. So remember the rule. The rule says when you have marked your last external high and low, whatever goes on inside is going to be what you're going to look out for to get your internals and fractals. Okay, so my internals are going to start from here. I'm going to make it red. So make this one red 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 so now i've gotten all my reds and this is the last high and the last low so in between the last high and the last low we're gonna have what our fractals okay so here we go here we go for our fractals you see it this is high we pulled back this low led to this high so this low has to be marked this high has to be marked okay 
this law was broken okay so i've been able to mark my fractals easy peasy everything make sure everything is what is only showing on the weekly chart nothing more so now we are doing the same thing to the daily okay we are going lower now we're going to use our what our internal structures the way it is right now we're going to use it because that's exactly what we want to show on the daily as external so our internals on weekly are external on daily so where's my brush tool i'll use my brush tool around each of these places to mark it up round it round it round it round it okay simple is not so after doing this i want to make sure each of these things i'm rounding I want to make sure they are visible on the daily. Now, out. Let me let me undo them again because I did not I did, I did not set the first one like that. So, you see, you don't make the same mistakes. I don't stress. So, my first brush tool. I'm gonna do it here. I'll make sure settings is visible on the daily because that's where I want it to show on the daily. So, I'll draw it here. Draw it here. Draw it here. Draw it here draw it here okay now all of them are going to be visible on the daily so if i go to the daily i will not see anything else than those right now that's what my roadmap so i'll mark these here these here these here these here these here these here uh this here okay now i've got in my externals simple very simple do not now I'll remove this i'll remove this i'll remove this I'll remove this. I'll remove this. I'll remove this. Simple as ABC. So now we use our black lines to mark up everything now. So black lines here. So we have 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 uh black lines here. So we have black lines here too so no big deal we follow the same principle whenever we have our what most recent external high and low from there we can go check the what internals and factors in between that range so let's go and look for what our what internal structures so yes we need to look for it right now so we're going to start from this high okay no that's not okay okay let's not start from that high let's not start from that high so let's start from what was going on before so i'm gonna make this red now you ask me why why is it this way it's because this low let it high and that's internal low this is not this any low that is not this that lets it desire any of these are called internals right so when that happened when price broke it price pulled back you can see this was a fractal structure break you can see so what does that mean it means this low was what red internal right so because this low is red internal then this high that led to the break of this low is also internal okay so ever since price has not been able to create any internal low yet an internal low will only be created if price breaks a fractal high like this then the low becomes internal but it has not happened since price just keeps sliding down sliding down it has not happened since now it happened here okay here is supposed to be red line but because red line at some point before now check the dates it was red line before now that's 23 october so red line when it broke here sorry to be 11th october 23 when it broke this fractal here look at green that was where it became a red line but then it moved till it broke the oldest red line that led to this low okay you get it this high led to the break of this and led to the formation of this so if price managed to break it it graduates towards 
external with the dots and a black line. That's our at November 2023, 21 November, this guy here became that um, external um, low with the dots and a black line. So we have to continue the movement that same way. Okay, so we have this to be what external, now not this, this is fractal, this is smaller. Remember, every external structure leads to the break of what well, a fractal structure. You can see that happen here. These are fractal structures, they are smaller. See, I probably led to the break of it. So, this is inter internal, not fractal, not anything. And this is fractal, not internal. So, you have to be very careful and observant. So, yes, this is what we call another um, internal high. Now, this low led to the break of have led to the formation of this so this low is what definitely well internal okay so in a matter this is the high that led to the break of this low which happened which happened here then this low also led to the break of this fractal high you see here then therefore it qualifies to become internal low okay internal low so that's as easy as that so now this is the last fractal high Okay, this is the last uh, internal high and this is the last internal low. Do you see that? This is the last internal high and this is the last internal low. So, what should happen is we need um, we need multiple um, we need to mark out fractal structures in between these two lines. Between this and this, this is the last. Not this. This is the last internal so we need to mark out the fractal so how do we know price coming down to this level we had some fractal arrangements okay these are some fractal arrangements here you just have to be careful so i can be very accurate at what you do okay all of these are fractal structures okay very easy to know fractal structures it's not difficult it's easier to know okay so this low let's be high so therefore when this when it got broken and this is where price retreats and this got broken again and this is the last time the low was formed so now if price moves this way to break this high this should be what this will graduate to what this will graduate to what internal okay this will graduate to internal red or it has not okay it has not and someone will say well but this broke a fractal high right here so I'll show you something. This kind of formation only happens when price gets into a point of interest, and we have not gotten there yet. When price gets into a point of interest, it can start generating a new set of higher highs and higher lows that we can consider as new fractal structures. But we are not there yet, so let's focus on what's on the ground, okay? So this is what a fractal low, and until price breaks here, that's when we know that this is going to lead to what it's going to be red when price breaks here. Simple simple as ABC. So we have been able to mark up the daily charts. So now it's time to mark up the four hour charts. So just as we do, we we'll circle this with the brush to make sure it's visible on the four hour chart. Okay, so we want to circle this. What else? We want to circle this high, this high mark. Every high and low mark, the red line, we want to circle them. Okay. So I want to circle all of this, right? I want to circle all of this. So, yes, it's enough. That's what we can see. So, we are going to go to the four hour charts and see for ourselves. Now, can you see? It's showing here. So, we have our what? Our dots. Here, 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 here. Okay, so it's time to delete the brushes. Okay, it's time to delete the brushes, delete the brushes, delete the brushes, delete the brushes. Okay, so we have our external structure here, which is going to be drawn in a black line. Very easy, very simple. Drawn in a black line. Drawn in a black line. Drawing a black line, 
drawing in a black line drawing a black line okay so here we go so when price here yeah, it's supposed to be one of them yes okay so now let's go so remember the last black line okay is going to be for us it's going to be the the last higher low we have to start searching for okay when this is the last low and this is the last high so in between them we have to start looking for what internal structures so now let's go look for internal structures okay so it's simple this low let this high okay so we're gonna do it this way it's very simple okay so this is we we'll have red we have what when price broke it this is another red okay this is blue leads to the break of fractal structure so that's that's red it's red okay um this is red this is red and these no that's not red but well, this is red okay now um looking at it the way you see it so where is our fractal structure so if this is red then this is the high that lets that red okay very simple so in, in between that last high and last red low we're gonna find the fractal structures which are green so you can see the fractal structures here very easy to spot very very easy to spot so yes you have this here and it led this high it will let this low fractally and then price broke it here okay price broke it here. and that one here i think how easy it is okay to draw so i've had our fractal structure so it's, this is most needed on the four hour chart okay for our daily chart we use all of these things to trade so i'm going to stop here okay i'm going to stop here on four hours and this is exactly what you need so if you have questions ask on the comment section so this new all right so let's do usd card as you can see we have usd card right here so as a monthly chart so now let's mark our external structures now look at it critically started here we have this low we have the high we have the low we have the high we have the low now let's zoom in and see how i was able to mark all of that so when you look critically in you would find out when quite we did this low we run up to create this high okay as you can see and all of these structures internal structures you see price was able to break them and that's why this became an internal high okay as you can see these are internal structures okay the internal structures why did i say so they led to some fractal structure break if i zoom in you see that it led to some break of fractal structure so it's an internal high likewise this okay um so that went on for a while even when we had this even when we had that so as you can see all of these movements i think i would grade this even if this did not lead to any um fractal break but it retraced it retraced well between this high and this low it retraced well before it moved up it made sense so as you can see this low let it break of this so therefore that low is well internal it lets you break of this internal high so if price ever breaks this then this graduates from this was once an internal high then graduate to what external high so that's how it works so i'm just telling you why it's graded like that so that you don't feel like i'm just making it up right so when it pulled back now because this low was able to break this external high it therefore became an external low that's how it works and then we had this why it's not graded as external okay it's graded rather as internal why is because 
why price is going higher there are diverse internal structures as you can see this this internal high this is another internal high this is an internal low because this low break this high and this is an internal low because this low break this high this normally you're supposed to be what internal before too but because it led to the break of one of the internal structures therefore it graduated to become what internal high external high rather the black line and the black dots very simple is it not so that's why i see me had this but i don't really care about those ones you must not really mark them but this is what our most recent external high and low external high external low these are our most recent ones so everything inside here we're going to take it very seriously both the internals and the fractals everything here is going to take it very seriously okay so this is where it starts from as you can see it's here from here why is it start from here whereby price has been going down internal structures has been going down and this was when price broke through broke above the first internal high as you can see so we created this one this internal high here and then this is the internal high and they see price crawl and broke above that's how we created this internal high this internal high led to fractal breaks as you can see fractal breaks as you can see so it's qualified here and this is the most recent internal low because this low led to the break of this high which formed this high so in between this recent high red high and this recent red low we have to look for what fractal structures okay so how do we do that how do we do that we do that by what um looking at what the fractals are are doing okay so this is where we have the fractals are uh, doing showing what's going on here so we have that's a fractal low so this is another fractal low here it's like they are like in a downtrend market condition this high let's this fractal low it's definitely fractal high too and this is the fractal low too so as you can see um okay as you can see this high led to the break of this and then price are returning back again so we're talking about the most recent fractal high that's it and this is the most recent fractal low too equal so we must make sure everything is showing on just the monthly chart if we expect it to be neat as possible so remember our rule we have to use the brush tool to mark our what internal structure here so that we can we can replicate it on weekly as externals on weekly so this is the brush tool so i'll round up every internal high i see around them up around them up as easy as that okay now i care about i think i made another mistake so i'll round them up again and make sure i check the visibility okay making sure it's not just anywhere it's only the week, weekly charts that's the mistake i said i made so then that's here gonna be weekly to weekly to here too so let's look at the weekly and see for ourselves what's going on right so this is what's going on right now we can be able to spot the work external as we speak this 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 so simple right so remove the brushes on it so remove the brushes on it remove the brushes on it remove the brushes on it so we have these to be what black lines okay we change the lines to black we have the same thing here the same thing here same thing here mm, that's it okay we have the same thing here too when you're drawing your lines to make it very straight make sure you hold the shift key and when you're trying to highlight what i do hold is what the control key or the command key if it's, you're using a mac okay then you drag as in highlights but if you just want to make a line straight use the shift key and you drag you press and hold it so now let's look for our our internal structure since we are crossing our external structures okay remember our what internal structures will happen to be like the, like the fractal structures on monthly so you can use your eye to know where they are okay so that's gonna be red red 
red right here so this high that let that brick is red so we have this blue here the red okay so we have this here to be red and we have these here to be red very simple right so in between the most recent or the last um, internal high and low we have some structures and those are going to be fractals so we care about those ones right not all the ones at the back just these ones so it's helpful identify things quicker right so here we go it's gonna be green it's gonna be green 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 Brain. so let's zoom it very well so we can follow up on these structures very well green that's a high keep going higher and we got here and we got here and then that was the last one but the price has never gone above it now the low that led to it is this and then we got here the price has not gone below this and above this so this is a, this all of this happening is just a range as you can see nothing spectacular happening but we break up or down then we know what market is doing so what do we do as usual we want to highlight everything and make sure it's saved as only weekly charts very simple okay so we want to move it from monthly make sure we save it as well only weekly charts okay so let's move to let's do the needful use a brush to to highlight these internal structures okay settings make sure it's showing on the daily chart we're going to the daily so we are highlighting the structures we are highlighting it we are highlighting it we are highlighting it we are highlighting it so what do we do we go to the daily everywhere will be cleared up we just have our structures our brush tool as you can see very simple so we use our highlighter to to mark what's necessary necessary what's necessary okay so we have been able to mark what's necessary now so we would remove this remove this remove this <coughs> remove this so what's gonna be happening is we would have this to be black line okay okay we'll have that to be black line we we'll have black lines here we'll have black lines here would have black lines here and would have the most recent black line okay we have the most recent what black line very recent so if that's what's going to be our black lines then we'll let's look for our red line okay is it not very simple so now looking for our red lines it's going to be what we call fractal on the weekly that same fractal is just going to be our our red lines here so very easy <coughs> i'm going to be a bit stressful because it's long very very long very very long so keep marking just high because an uptrend keep marking just high because we are in an uptrend keep just marking highs and all right so when so so then this is the next internal high here i know if you shrink your chart you're not gonna see what's going on here so it's important to see what's going on there so to see what's going on there you have to create this this high is supposed to be red let's make it red again so yes yeah, supposed to be red why because it led to a break of fractal structures here you can see it it did so it breaking making this high was well, broke this so this is the next high now the next internal high as you can see so a fractal structure it broke so this low that led to this high is supposed to be red okay <coughs> so this low got broken right here okay so um that's not gonna be the case okay because this is gonna be fractal low this, this is a fractal low this is a fractal low why is it a fractal low because this low did not lead to a break of any fractal structure high so therefore 
refractor low but this is definitely gonna be a red low okay an internal low red low so um why because it led to a couple of um fractal breaks as you can see okay so we have the highest points to be here we have the lowest points to be here as you can see so it got broken down here right here when it got broken it led to this this is also going to be a what an internal low why because it led to fractal breaks as you can see here what about this this high that led to the break of this low is going to be frac m internal right so yes sorry i'm deleting this old stuff here so yes so what's going to happen this is going to be what another one red red line right here as you can see this is going to be another red line right here too because this is not going to be a red line this fractal because price this did not lead to the break of any fractal structure so make it out green let me get green but this is what internal structure high okay so um what's gonna happen right now is um this low led to this high this is the low that led to this high not this not this low okay this low is gonna be fractal because it led to the break of a fractal structure so it's gonna be fractal this low led to the break of an internal high so it's going to be what internal low so that's how you draw it this way make it make it red and then we have a new red low here that led to break of multiple fractal structures so this is our most recent um red high and red low internal high internal low okay that's the most recent amongst all of them so in between we have to make our what fractal structures okay so it's very simple these are fractal structure highs you can see them make them green very simple very simple make them green very simple make them green make them green make them green okay very simple right so yes that's how it's, it's been drawn so what we're gonna do now is to make sure everything showing here is showing just on the daily charts so that it doesn't get confusing okay make sure everything showing here is showing on the daily charts okay this is on weekly and on daily chart so now how do we try how do we get our four hour structure is by using our what? let's find let's use our internals to get our externals very simple so we have oh sorry not this tool we need our brush tool so we have you must not choose all of them the most recent are more important but just so that you don't get confused You have to use these ones. To show you guys how to do it. Let's say I train up for us. Oh my god. It's not showing. Okay, let's do it again. Let's make sure the first one is set to four hours. So here we go. Here we go. So once you go on the four hours, you want to see it here. You see it. 
you know, see every one of them here you must not go and mark all of them the same way right since they are all far but you can do with the most recent ones that are in recent price action so that your chart doesn't get all clustered okay so let's add the most recent ones so yes so remove all of them that we don't need So yes, we have this line that is going to be black, this line is going to be black, even this black, so this black too, okay, this black too, okay, this black too, and the rest of them, okay, I just care about the most recent one, so all of others. I don't care right now so let's look into what we have here remember this way fractals on the daily time frame now they're going to be what our red line internals very simple okay so without waiting much time this high here is supposed to be red it's supposed to be red as you can see red here and this one red more reds more reds more reds more reds more reds and more reds as what's going on right now so where is the last low that led to the break of this this low led to the break of this so that's the boundaries we have between these and this okay so what's gonna happen right now is um okay what's gonna happen right now in between these red lines this high and this low we're gonna make sure we uh mark the fractal structures in between them okay so very easy to spot them very easy to spot them green line as you can see these are the lows are the structures in between them okay that the structures as you can see them the structures in between them okay All right, so that's what we have. That was going on on um, USD card. So we want to make sure all of this is only visible on the four hour, not on the daily. So take a look at the four hour. How beautiful it is. Now look at the daily. How detailed everything is. Did you see it. Now look at the weekly. How detailed everything is. Did you see it. And then look at the monthly. How detailed everything is. Pretty simple. See you in the next video.